of the parking lot is like totally full, which is weird for a Monday afternoon. I'm a little bit terrified, but we're going in. Swag with a bow. We got swag with a bow. All right, we're not here to launch my rap career. We're here for Christmas time at Trader Joe's. We are talking affordable and easy cheese trays that are going to wow your guests, or you could even bring it as a hostess gift. And we are talking healthy-ish stocking stuffers. Bars make great stocking stuffers. We'll be taste testing these gingerbread ones in a second, but there are a lot of options for even your pickiest friends. These coconut oil packets are great too, especially if you have friends who travel a lot. And these dark chocolate honey mints are one of my favorite. They're very natural and they're great, unless you're vegan and you don't eat bee products, as would this rainbow of honeybee. I've never tried it, but it looks super fun. You could also split it up and make it multiple gifts. Now I can definitely vouch for these fruit and nut discs. You can see them there like little flying saucers and they're all natural, just fruit and nuts, but they taste like candy. Honestly, they're super great. So another honey, I don't know, it was like this honey kick. Um, it was really crowded at Trader Joe's and also these preserves. The honey or those preserves would be great on your cheese tray as well. And then they have fancy maple syrups. I know they have this ghost pepper one, a vanilla one, and these nougats are hiding in here with real candy. And then of course they have a whole Christmas section. So this is not sponsored, but Trader Joe's, there's their teas as well. They also have some body care products that are holiday limited edition stuff. So maybe Trader Joe's isn't the first place you think of when it comes to stocking stuffers, like those fruit bars I showed at the end. And maybe some of these snacks seem too healthy to be fun stocking treats, especially if you're used to those like giant candy canes of Hershey's Kisses. And there's nothing wrong with those if you enjoy them as well in moderation. But food gifts really make people feel taken care of. And what better way to take care of the people that you really care about than by giving them something healthy, but still fun, especially if they're not regular Trader Joe's shoppers themselves, or if you're the one who handles all the grocery shopping, these treats will be fun and unexpected. Speaking of treats, let's check out that gingerbread bar. I'll be honest, they really got me with the packaging on these because how cute is that little bear? And I wasn't sure if these were going to be like granola bars or, but they're actually those things that the bear has in his little paws. They're almost like a Nutri-Grain bar. They've got a fig filling. Let's take a look. The frosting, you'll, you'll see. Let's take a look. So here are the individual bars. The bear returns. I mean, obviously I didn't have the fun cereal as a child. That's not really true. I kind of had whatever I wanted, but I just wasn't into it. Anyway, so they're super cute. They're individually wrapped. Um, and inside, I don't wanna break it. They're really soft and chewy. Uh, worst unboxing ever. I don't wanna break it, okay. Here we go. I'm here trying not to break it and this one has like a big smush in it. All right, I didn't smush it. So there you go. They're a little frosted gingerbread bars. And on the inside, like I said, there's gonna be that fig filling in there. So the bars have almond butter. They have pretty much every allergen in the world in them except gluten. Um, they have, oh, I guess they're dairy free as well, but they do have almond butter in there as well. They're a little bit high in sugar. There are two separate sources of sugar in the ingredients aside from what's in the frosting, which like the frosting is really not a significant issue here. Um, but I really, loved these as cookies when I got them. Um, I thought they were gonna be like a snack bar or maybe a breakfast bar, but then I tried it and it's definitely more of a sweet treat. So you could either stuff stockings with these or even serve them with like tea or coffee or hot chocolate um, or spiced wine if that's how you roll. So they are really soft and really flavorful. Very gingery, but in a good way. They're very gingery. You have all the rest of the gingerbread spices in there, the cinnamon, the allspice, just a really nice holiday flavor. So not sponsored, but those are kind of my pick of all of the Trader Joe's holiday um, treats. Trader Joe's really hates for you to film in there. I had to do like my quick surreptitious shot grabs. The two things I didn't show you that I would have liked to show you were their chocolate passport. It's a little box like this with little individual slabs of chocolates from around the world. And then they have like a multi foot, I think it's like a yard of caramels this year. Um, I think they had caramels as well last year. They're good. So they have fun, less healthy treats as well, but I think they can be a good place for fun, healthy treats. And speaking of healthy, 
let's talk cheese trays. You might not think healthy when you think of a cheese tray, but hear me out. Compared to chips and dip or other appetizers that are gonna sit around before an actual meal, I think a cheese tray comes in second right below something that's an obvious whole food, like plain nuts, you know, not like the fun cinnamon sugar coated ones, but plain nuts or like a veggie tray, right? So if you're not down with those, I think the cheese tray is your next best stop. And I think it's a great thing to offer your guests. When you're assembling a cheese tray, I recommend having at least three options on there. You can choose them all from one region or from around the world. I went around the world, honestly, I just picked some of my Trader Joe's favorites um, that I thought would look fun and festive together, maybe. What I like to do is make sure I mix up my textures. So I want a relatively firm cheese, maybe not as hard as like a Parmigiano Reggiano, but something firm, something, you know, sort of medium-y, a softer, cheddar in this case for the tray i got a havarti you'll see and then something creamy like a brie in this case i got a goat cheese because we're going to top it with a homemade cranberry sauce that you could also use as an accompaniment in your christmas dinner it's super easy my cranberry sauce is two ingredients so in fact let's start with that because you'll have to get it going on the stove before you can put it on top of your goat cheese. To make the cranberry sauce, all you need is cranberries and apple cider, and that's it. I rinsed my cranberries, I put them in a pot, I added apple cider until the cranberries were just starting to bob at the surface. If you add too much, it's okay, you can reduce it down. If you didn't add enough, you can add more or add some filtered water to make up the difference. Totally doesn't matter. And then you just bring it to a boil, reduce it down to a simmer, and let it cook until all of the cranberries have popped and it's saucy. It'll thicken up as it cools. It'll gel on its own because of the pectin and the apple cider. So super easy, no added sugar, and you can always add sugar or cinnamon or whatever you'd like to make it to your liking. My whole goal with this cheese tray is to make it simple and affordable and pretty universally liked. So I got a plain goat cheese for something creamy, that manchego, and a Havarti with dill. And in addition to your cheeses, of course, you'll need all of your side items, some crackers, maybe some nuts, maybe some dried fruits. I also have my olives here, and we'll have that cranberry spread as well that we just cooked up. So in the spirit of keeping everything extra simple for this cheese tray, I used a plain dinner plate for presentation, but you could totally use a platter, a cutting board, you could put a dish towel, especially if you had a Christmassy one, down on your table where you'll be having the cheese platter laid out, and then just put some parchment over it to protect your towel and make it easier to slice and serve things. There's no wrong answers. I chose to show it with just a plate and little bowls and ramekins that I have around, but you can make this as plain or as fancy as you want to. And before I show the final reveal, one thing I really meant to grab was some fresh rosemary. I think it has a nice little pine tree kind of look to bring in, I mean, my tree's not looking so, you know, piney back there, but they don't make silver tinsel rosemary either. So I guess we gotta get on some more GMOs for that. Anyway, I like to put rosemary on my uh, winter holiday cheese trays because I think it does lend like a little Christmas tree kind of look to it, plus some nice green color but I forgot and you'll see, we survived. So go ahead and make your cheese tray as fancy or as simple as you want. You know everyone will eat it except for vegans, but hey, if you keep the walnuts on the side, they can eat those too. I hope some of these tips help you simplify your holiday and give you some more time to relax, maybe even squeeze in a workout. You know I had ulterior motives, but the fact is I think real life means crossing some stores off your list if you can pick up everything you need for a party or for your stockings at Trader Joe's while you're doing the grocery shopping you have to do anyway. Why not? And like I said, this video isn't sponsored. This is just really a productivity hack, right? That I would do myself, that I do do myself. I make a mean cheese tray and uh, who knows, maybe next year we'll have to have workout and cheese. So comment below if you think that's a class that I should add to the schedule at the studio. And in the meantime, I hope you're having a healthy and happy holiday season. Thanks again for hanging out. We'll see you soon.